Although Malawi provides free primary education, which makes many children go to school, the struggle still remains when it comes to delivery of quality education due to lack of resources. The reality is schools, classrooms, teachers and learning materials are not enough. In fact, many classrooms have up to 100 learners or even 250, which makes teaching one of the most difficult jobs. In response to some of these challenges rocking the education sector, Voluntary Service Overseas, VSO, in partnership with the Ministry of Education, Science and Technology, have rolled out a program in junior primary schools, which enables pupils to read and solve mathematics. The program is one of the many interventions under the Unlocking Talent project. In the program, a teacher is able to track and access the progress of each learner, through the online class progress assessment too, available in the teacher's iPad. The idea behind it is we want to improve literacy and numeracy skills in early grade learners. Uh, because one of the biggest challenges that our education system faces is that learners, by the time they get to standard five, standard six, they have not mastered the core competences, which is literacy and numeracy. So we are using uh, digital education technology to deliver literacy and numeracy competences to learners. Beyond the Learning Center, the initiative has been able to influence and recommend new methodologies that achieve one-on-one -on -one interactions with the teacher, irrespective of high number of pupils. Through the project, pupils like Annie Banda have had their academic life turned around, making them enjoy the school environment while looking ahead to a brighter future. Head teacher of Monjo LEA School in Palombe, Dave Mugwa, says the use of the iPad makes it possible for a lot of pupils to be able to read write and do mathematics in their first two years of education. This will change the education system in Malawi completely. The research for term two last year and the research for term two this year, there's a great change. The achievement levels have improved. Our learners are very active in class and get the concept very fast. In standard one last year, Term two, the pass rate was at 47.5 percent. 47.5. And this year, term two, after UT, it was at 74 percent. An increase of 26.1.5 percent. However, a recent report from the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development suggests there could be a detrimental effect to allow kids use such technology. The findings show that computers in classrooms are being linked with a decline in test results for math, science, and reading. But Deputy Director in the Ministry of Education, Science and Technology, Ellen Simango, testified on how the project has been able to improve the quality of education delivery, as well as provide access to education for all within the sampled zones and districts at large. It's one of those good initiatives. Um, it is really helping our learners, both those with special needs as well as those that we call um, the regular ones. So what we've done is uh, to put um, some of those uh, lessons that we teach either in NRP or in mathematics. It's kind of like play but at the same time you're getting education. So most of the children are somehow interested by to use the iPad. As we know, especially in the rural schools, I would say our children maybe may not be exposed to uh, gadgets like phones, cell phones or iPads as it is in this case. Education for All Index of 2013 revealed that only 5% of the learners are able to read or do mathematics by the time they get to Standard 5. Overall, the initiative has brought smiles on children's faces and instilled in them the love for learning. In, in regards to the future of the project, so the first phase was mostly being implemented with VSO as a lead 
We're working with the ministry to be able to adapt the digital education technology within its delivery systems and its policies. So the, next, the second phase we are going to be co-managing. Looking forward to the continuity of this innovative way of improving quality of education in Malawi, Simango had this to say. The unfortunate thing is that we are only implementing in a few schools. It's a project. I would have loved if it was a program that each and every learner is being exposed to the use of the tablets. And again, we are only um, doing it in one class as of now, Standard 2. I believe it would have been very um, important if we had gone to the other classes as well, maybe all the way to Standard 8. Bearing in mind that when they go into the secondary schools, we have the computer lessons or computer subject. Elsewhere, iPads are being blamed for a decline in handwriting ability among learners.